Plants generally lack the ability to move to new locations and this often presents some challenges when it comes to reproduction. Not only do they need to find ways of exchanging their gametes, but they also need to develop a means to disperse their offspring. Seeds do need to germinate far from the mother tree. Plant parents growing in close contact with their children is undesirable. It creates a situation in which the parent and child plants have to compete for space, water and nutrients, not to mention the problems with inbreeding that will diminish the species' ability to survive environmental disruptions. To disperse their offspring away from mothers, many plants produce fleshy fruits with seeds inside, which are dispersed by a group of animals specialised in it, the seed dispersers. These fruits are eaten by animals which, in turn, carry the seeds in their gut until they pass them in their faeces some time later, preferably at a location which isn't near where they found the fruit in the first place. Depending on the characteristics of the animal and its foraging behaviour, dispersers will select a variety of size of fruits and disperse them further away from the mother plant. In this way, each type of disperser fulfills a different function in the process of natural regeneration of plants with fleshy fruit. Some will disperse at small distances, others at medium and others at great distances. Nevertheless, what happens when the animals which exert a certain type of dispersion go extinct? The kind of dispersion they have made is lost. This will affect the species of plant, which, if not dispersed, will tend to disappear progressively. Some species of plants, in fact, have already lost their original dispersers, although they maintain the characteristics of their fruits adapted to the dispersion by megafauna. These are large fruits which only large animals can efficiently disperse. This phenomenon, known as ecological anachronism, unfortunately begins to become more and more frequent because we're losing the majority of megafauna species adapted to the dispersion of large fruits and seeds. Many of these ecological anachronisms, which had diversified their spectrum of seed dispersers, currently maintain a relict dispersal rate by small animals, in many cases not too adequate, but sufficient to persist long after their best original disperser has lost. This is leading us to a process of silent extinction of many species, which is preceded by a malfunction of the dispersal mechanisms of many plant species. It is in our hands to prevent these collapses occurring in the dispersion mechanisms that ultimately lead to irreversible chain extinction processes. To this end, we have to favour the maintenance of biodiverse ecosystems that promote heterogeneity in the reproductive mechanisms of living organisms.